Hello and welcome to Blue Kazoo. This is ALOS 10 and welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 1.8 pre-release 3 update. So today I will be covering all of the basic things, uh, blocks, items, etc. in the Minecraft 1.8 Snapshot pre-release 3 update. So, uh, before we begin, things that I believe are worthy of note. This update is known as the Bountiful Update. It took over 300 days for Mojang to create, so a lot of work went into it. Uh, so credit to them uh, for making the game as good as they possibly could. Uh, there are many changes to the actual game structure, um, such as uh, different modes, different ways to create worlds, that kind of thing, but I'm not smart enough to work out what they mean and go through with them, so I'm not going to bother. Um, also, I, you probably wouldn't understand anyway, I don't. Well, then again, not that you uh, I'll give up. Anyway, and also 1.8 officially is going to be released on the 2nd of September. So that is three days away for, as of the time of this recording. Um, if you live in Australia, that will be on a Tuesday. Today is a Saturday. Um, Americans, Wednesday. Um, yeah, I mean, it just depends, I guess, where you live. Uh, not a big deal. It'll just be the 2nd of September for everyone. So straight into it. Um, we're going to start off over here. And we have new types of rocks. So these rocks can be found underground, not these ones, just the ones on the left here. You can find them underground in caves, just underground in general. So they are called granite, this reddish one, diorite, uh, the whitish one, and andesite grayish. So, four times rock equals four times polished rock. So what I mean by that is if I take these here. I've got sound, by the way. It turns out my volume thing was off. I think it just automatically switched off when I was recording. You probably saw me adjusting it at the start of the video. Um, but yeah, that was weird. Anyway, so we go four of andesite there, four polished andesite. Same with diorite. And also, yeah, uh, also granite. So we have these blocks here. Polished granite, polished diorite, polished andesite. So pretty cool. Over here, stone brick varieties are craftable, so that's brilliant. Mossy stone brick, um, chiseled stone brick, cracked stone brick. Ah, now that is a little uh, awkward. I'm supposed to be in survival mode. So, I'm going to show you how to craft them up. It's pretty convenient, it means some pretty awesome blocks that we don't get to use too often, but now they're craftable. So, I'm going to take all this and I'm going to show you how to make them. So, in here, you're going to want, uh, well, to make slabs, you can get with just the usual three across, and you can do that, and you'll get chiseled stone brick. One stone brick plus a vine equals mossy stone brick. And what else? All oh, right, while I'm here, a cobblestone plus, oh, dear, plus a vine equals mossy cobblestone. So I'm just going to fix up my inventory quickly. So that's how you make all them. Now you're probably wondering where the cracked stone brick is. I kind of need to make some now because I just destroyed it. So all you want to do is pop in um, a stone brick into the furnace, cook it with whatever you like, and ta-da! Uh, yep, here we go. You get a cracked stone brick. Let me just pop this down here just so it looks proper again. It looks proper again. So I'm just going to grab this one and I'm going to whack it all back oops, ah, in, in the chest. So, next stop, slime power. So, slime blocks. They are sticky, so you walk pretty slowly, slowly on them. They are also bouncy. As you can see, I'm bouncing up and down like a trampoline. So, they also stick to blocks. So, uh, blocks that can be moved by pistons will attach to them. So, that's the majority of blocks in the game. I have an example here. We have a crafting table underneath this slime block. If I were to push it with a piston, the crafting table will move with it. Put that piston away just so you can see it a little better. The sand block has been destroyed. Crafting table is here and the slime block is attached to it. But, if I were to have a furnace underneath it and click the piston, there we go. Furnace does not move. 
stays where it is, um, and the slime block will move by itself. That, that affects blocks such as chest as well. Still bouncing. So to create this slime block, all you want to do is get nine slime balls, like so, pop them in the crafting bench, and voila. There we are. Instant slime, and I've left these in my inventory. Uh, so here we have a test. So as you may know, soul sand can slow you down. So we are going to test what is slower, the soul sand or the slime block. So how far, we're going to uh, measure this by the how fast the U chart. So get back to Mackies, can outrun anyone in the Hunger Games, Blue Kazoo style. Speedy Gonzalez, the road runner, Usain Bolt on steroids, and you want you want to look for the Met. If you get a Met, you're you know. You're very good. So, soul sand. This is three blocks of soul sand, and you know that's still reasonably quick, as you can see. Reasonably quick. Uh, not obviously not as quick as you'd like, but reasonable. Here's slime block. It's a lot slower, as you can see, a lot slower. Probably twice as slow, I reckon. So clear. I mean, running along a slime block, I'd say that's about a two. You know, about a two. Uh, soul sand. Eh, it's probably up there with the road runner, I would think. So pretty respectable. Um, so that's it for slimes. Um, moving on now to what? The, where's why? This has been now. This is weird. Now I I have been organised, but for some reason today things are just are constantly disappearing from um, the world, and I don't understand why. And my armour stand has completely vanished. I don't understand what's going on. So I. I'm going to have to get some gear and do my demonstration again. So, uh, bear with me for a moment. This is weird. So, where is it? Did I not? I'm certain. I'm certain I placed it. Okay. So, you can right click anywhere to place the armor. So, what I mean by that is you don't have to put the boots on the boot spot just like that. Oh dear. Hang on. This is going to be annoying. I hope I hope nothing else has gone wrong. Been a bit of a slight train wreck. Anyway, so what I mean, you can say if I want to put my helmet on, I don't have to click on the helmet bit. I can just can click on the pants. So I can just go. Let me just take these off just to demonstrate. I can just quite easily go dirt, scroll through the inventory, nice and quick. So that's the armor stand. You can also put things such as heads on the armor stand. And if you want to switch pieces of armor or heads, all you have to do is click. Click wherever again, and they'll just swap automatically. So you can just do that as much as you want. Uh, no big deal. Just nice and quick. So, we have the new enchanting system. So, what I mean by that, you have to use lapis, and then you save levels. So, we're going to take some lapis here. And if we're able to pop my sword in, and put in one lapis along with it, you can see there's a bit, bit different here. I will have the option to use one lapis lazuli and one enchantment level to get um, to. I've forgotten my words. Yes, to get fire aspect one as well as some other enchantment. So, uh, I was killed before by something I won't mention. Got killed and I lost all my levels, so I can't do level 30. But if I were to put in two and I had the necessary levels, uh, 13 and if I put in 3 and had the necessary levels of 30 I would be able to enchant this but as it is I can't so I'm just going to put it on this basic enchant knock back one fire aspect one. Not, not a terrible sword, not bad do the same with the bow power one bow. well, you know not bad given the circumstances very unfortunate my death so anyway I'm not going to worry too much about that for now uh, a couple more things to show you in this section. Iron trap door, pretty simple. Basically, like the iron door, uh, lever up and down if you want. Uh, button will time it, so temporary burst. Uh, created slightly differently to a regular trap door. So a trap, regular trap door is this. As you can see, you get two trap door return from six wooden planks. Now six iron ingots like that, like I showed before, were iron bars. So you only need four. It creates just one iron trap door, so not as good a return, but that's not a huge enormous deal. 
So the last thing I'm going to show you for now is coarse dirt. So grass will never grow on coarse dirt. Uh, it has a slightly different texture to regular dirt, as you can see. Just slightly darker. And it's a good way to get rid of gravel if you want. It looks good with rustic paths, with gravel, with cobblestone, whatever. Looks pretty nice. So you need two gravel and two dirt. So the gravel um, and the dirt, like so. It can be can go either way. Not a big deal where they go as long as they're diagonal pattern. And you've got four for four. So four coarse dirt in return. So that is it for the basic blocks around here and we're going to continue on in just a moment so stay tuned welcome back <coughs> so i realized i forgot to show you how to craft the armor stand so before we begin with the next um section we're going to do that now so armor stand is pretty simple i've got materials just here so you know stone slab here and you want to get some sticks everywhere else and that's pretty simple so not a huge deal um, to lose and you get an arm um, stand and pop that down here. So perfect. So now with that done we're going to move on and next on our list I'll show you the course dirt. So we got red uh, sand, red sandstone. So red sand um, and red sandstone can be used just like any regular sand, sandstone blocks. Um, so I have an example here. So I'll just grab all this out quickly. If I click on the crafting table, I got my red sand, um, and I can use that to make red sandstone. From red sandstone, I can obviously put four there, get some smooth, or I can make some slabs. But for slabs, you can make chiseled red as well, and also you can make here the stairs. So pretty simple, just act, act the exact same way as regular sandstone. So pretty cool. Um, another thing you might notice is that on the chiseled sandstone there's an indentation of a weather. Um, so it, look, it looks pretty good I reckon. So just something different. So I like that. Uh, moving on now, I might as well just plop everything back in the chest. We are going to head on to the ocean monument section. So as you might, might have seen already, there is an ocean monument just over there. And we're going to explore that in the future episodes. I'll show you... Um, Oh yeah, I'll show you around that. But just the basics so far of what we have here. So we have Prismarine, which makes up the majority of the monument and is crafted like so you can just do it here um, and just four and you'll get a block of Prismarine. Pretty simple there. Prismarine bricks, so that makes up the monument pillars and other um, parts of the monument as well. Uh, very simple as well, just nine shards. These are Prismarine shards by the way. So you want to use them. Uh, dark prismarines are uncommon, just in the treasure room surrounding gold blocks, which are treasure. So I'll show you them eventually when we do the tour. But it's once again very simple. These are quite simple to make, like if you have the required items, of course. So just eight prismarine shards, ink sack in the middle, and you get dark prismarine. Finally, we have the sea lantern, which is an underwater light source. So it acts like glowstone and. Uh, redstone lamp so if I set the time to say 16,000 recently worked out it was actually in thousands you can see it provides a fair bit of light so a solid light source uh, to be used and that is also made quite simply uh, with these two items and you get the shards in the corner and you also get prismarine crystals in the remaining spaces and there's a sea lantern um, you can find that um, you can get when you but when you break a cement and you get a certain number of crystals so you get three of them um, so that's just how you get them you can get them you can, you can also silk touch the sea lanterns to uh, get them automatically so moving on and we now have doors fences fence gates can be made from any wood so new wooden items uh, this doesn't apply for trap doors sticks and crafting tables or that kind of thing so here, over here, we have the original um, door and fence and fence gate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you open the door and all that. And you, you should know. So you know how to craft them. Just basic, you know, with the fences, just sticks, um, that kind of thing. Also, you need to um, 
with the doors it's just a matter of um, substituting the wood um, the different type of wood you would like um, in and you'll get the different doors so here we have a spruce door as you can see um, look like a bit of a dungeon type of door here's the fence gate just nice and dark got the birch wood as well got an 80s looking door if you ask me I, don't know, I probably don't have a clue but yeah, look. Fence gate here with the jungle wood and jungle door. Um, has a, just a regular door handle hole here. I guess you can put fly screen or something. I don't know. A bit more of a modern door here. Nice, rich, dark wood. So that looks pretty nice and acacia. It's also something different with the orange. So, our next stop is. Well, actually, I think fences will be different, won't they? I'm not actually sure, but I reckon fence. How would you get that? I'm gonna have to, I'll come back. I'm going to work that out and come back to you after this is done and I'll tell you how you make fences with the individual colour. But don't worry about that, I realise if you got that. I'll come back. So anyway, we have, over here, we have found this so they can be any base colour and you can apply different decorations to it. So I haven't done the decorations, but I might do a band tutorial in the future, a different one. So, you know, you notice how they sort of wave and move. So these ones are um, just in, in tune, so it looks pretty cool. Um, and you notice over here there are a couple of special designs. So if you put a creeper head next to your banner, you'll get this. You'll get the black creeper face, not the actual colour as shown by this one. So you need to have the actual base colour you want. So if you want a blue one, that one, purple, that one, so on. And the uh, creeper head only makes uh, this look black. Uh, also with the skeleton skull, it also creates. Um, a skull and crossbow. So banners are made pretty simply. You need, uh, oops, you need these here. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna make up uh, uh, make up two banners. Maybe need two. Um, here we are. No. Terrible. Whatever. Two banners. So that's how you make a banner. Just a stick and six pieces of wool. A banner with a skull and skull anywhere. Doesn't matter where you place it. We'll get you a Skull and crossbones, creeper head anywhere, white banner, and you'll get the black creeper face. So as I said, it just you can put them on any colour, it doesn't um, change the background colour, it just adds to the decoration. Uh, final thing I have to show you, uh, show to you, I should say for now, the sponges. So you're probably wondering why you need to show you sponges. I don't really, but you are maybe able to find an ocean monument, so I just thought it'd be worth it. And there are also a couple of neat tricks I want to show you. So sponge if you have a dry sponge here and a wet sponge here. So wet sponge absorbs water. Uh, sponges absorb all adjacent to water next to any water that's, that they're touching. And if I just take this, here we are, and I pop over to the ocean and pop through the door, I would stick um, this sponge here. It takes all of that water and absorbs it. I'm just going to break that. It will take a second to under the water. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need that, I have to get it back. So, I'll shut the door. So heading back over here, so you can, um, this is there already. So if I wanted to put a wet sponge in the furnace, it would cook up and it would dry the sponge. So by doing this, you will get a, um, just a regular piece of sponge as shown. So just get the sponge back. But, here's a clever trick. So if I were to put a bucket of lava, so if I were to put the wet sponge um, in with a bucket of lava as my fuel source, watch what's going to happen. So not only are we going to get the sponge back, but the bucket filled with water. So this is currently the only way to extract water from the sponge. So this is a clever trick I thought I would show you. So, oops, let's just leave them there. So that's it for now. I'm going to come back with the remaining uh, part of this video and I'm also going to explain to you how to make different coloured fences with the different wood. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned. So I've worked out how to make the fence gate. So it is pretty simply just a uh, selected wood on the side and a couple of sticks in the middle. So you get your, you get your fence. So pretty simple there. Um, where is it? There we are. Uh, no, no. Okay. There we are, and just plonk it down and do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, I'm in the wrong game mode. There we go. Now let's get rid of it. There. 
All right. Now we will move on to bunny rabbits. No, we won't. We'll move on to the guardian mob by mistake. So, guardian mob, they, ha they are found in the ocean monuments. Uh, they are like the minions to the elder guardians, which are the true bosses. So, the guardian mob have 30 HP, so 15 hearts, and do uh, 3 hearts of damage or 6 attack points on normal. No elder guardians spawn eggs, so I can't show you them, um, but I will when I do my um, ocean monument tour uh, in a future episode. But the elder guardian has. Um, 80 HP, so 40 hearts, and does 4 hearts of damage on normal difficulty. So here, I have a Guardian spawning. Why is that sound not on? That's better. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So, spawn the Guardian, and as you'll see, it it does. It has its beam, and it does a fair bit of damage. So we're gonna have to kill this bloody thing quickly. Is it gone? Oh, jeez, it's bouncing around. Alright, come on, go kill it, come on. Ah. Oh, there we go. That was a struggle. That that's basically reflects my PvP skill. So I dropped the shard. Prismarine shard. So other drops it has. Okay. So these are common drops. Prismarine crystals, shards, overall fish. Um, and these are uncommon drops, or um, plums of fish. Uh, you, if you're wondering why raw fish is in both, it's because if the if um, raw fish isn't dropped here or something like that, it becomes a rare drop. I don't know. It's confusing. Look at the wiki. That will explain everything. Let me heal up here. Alright. Elder Guardian is exactly the same, except you can get a wet sponge as well. Moving on now to rabbits. So, rabbit mob hops instead of walks, and they spawn in many different biomes, so the majority of them. And there's also a 1 in 1,000 chance a killer bunny will spawn. Killer rabbit, I should have written, but whatever. No big deal. So they can be bred using carrots, golden carrots, or dandelions. But the only thing that they will uh, follow is a carrot. So if I just bust, no, come on, bust that open. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, easy if you're running out of storage space. So I have to um, just redo this bit. So I was saying um, that uh, rabbits, oops. Still in the wrong game mode. Um, as I was saying, rabbits will only follow carrots, even though they can be bred by dandelions and golden carrots. So as you can see, they're going absolutely bananas for the carrots. So this is the only item that they will follow. Um, so yeah, oh, I picked up a stray. Stra well, I've got three of the same type. Well, whatever. So as you know, they're... Well, she, no, you don't know. They're still there. Anyway, no big deal. So, other things you can do. This is a formation for making a rabbit uh, stew. So, cooked rabbit on top, these items here, and the bowl. So, the mushrooms, though, can vary, which is why I had these mushrooms together. So, if I swap them around, it will make the same thing. I'm not going to craft it because I need the carrot still. So, don't worry about that. Now, the rabbit's foot. If you were to um, put a rabbit's foot in a brewing stand with awkward potions, you can make these beautiful things called the potion of leaping. So, the potion of leaping... Uh, gives you an added jump boost, so it'll make you jump a bit further and give you a bit more hang time. Plus, it also reduces fall damage a little bit. So, I'll demonstrate that um, as soon as I get one of these potions. Perfect. So, I'm going to drink it. Delicious. And as you can see, you got the jump boost out here. Oop, where the heck? Oh, got disoriented. As you can see, you got a little bit more hang time, jumping a little bit further as well. What's this? Something's been killed. Rabbit. Anyway, yummy, yummy steak. So, um, I have a test we're going to do. Over here is a 10 high um, pillar. So, when I jump without, without um, potion effects, I took 3.5 hearts damage. This is with no armor as well. I don't think armor makes a difference, actually, but whatever. So, I have the potion effects on. So, if I jump off, I'm only going to take 3 hearts of damage. So, that, that proves there is a reduced... Um, after effect from a uh, reduced reduced fall damage from jumping from heights so now for the killer rabbit so if I head down here we have two different rabbits here we have this rabbit well that rabbit and this rabbit so which is the killer bunny you ask well that's a very good question it is this one here so this ki this is the killer bunny, which you can tell because it has sideways eyes as well as darker red pupils and eyebrows. All other bunnies will have 
vertical eyes. So I've had these two in so you, because they're both widened with red eyes. I'll, I'll just to show you the difference between a regular bunny and a killer bunny. These are the evil ones here. Should be imprisoned. This guy can go free. So let's just there you, go. Yeah, you can. Yeah, for the good of the team, you're gonna have to stay in there. I'm, oh no, 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 I can get this one. Hey, be, be free, good bunny. Okay, so. Beware the killer bunny, they, have, uh, they do 4 hearts of damage on normal difficulty, they also will attack wolves or tame dogs. And to prove that, I'm sorry, you're going to have to stay here now. This could get ugly. So, down here in the fight club, we have we have a killer bunny there, ready to roll. So here we go, we're in the fight club, we got Bob versus Frank, Early, that was earlier today, Bob was the favourite. Uh, Fred versus Steve, Fred, I'd like to put a bit of cash on Fred, but... Whatever, so I'm gonna, but this is the fight we're looking for. So the Killer Bunny 185 against Wolfie a dollar sixty. So I'm gonna put a few bucks there, but oh, didn't bring any money. So I guess I'm just gonna be a spectator. Anyway, so we are, we got we got Wolf the Wolfie spawn egg here, and we are going to go. We're gonna go pop this in. Oh, ow, ow, no, 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 fight, 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 no, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. See, I just spawned here. So, I was going to luckily, and luckily, I haven't got, I don't have to go too far. Um, I guess someone's going to be dead by the time I get there. We're going to miss the fight. We've missed the fight, I think. Um, the killer bunny, he was, he was straight after me. So, let's see, who's, who, who survived? Oh, Wolfie. Wolfie got up. Good on you, Wolfie. I distracted him, didn't I? Here. Have, have this. You can have that. There you go. So um, yeah, they're they're, kind of, they're vicious, um, as shown, quite vicious. Um, and wolves and well, considering that the um, rabbit. Oh no, it's my pick. Um, considering the rabbit has been killed, I think that's conclusive enough for. Actually, I can summon it. So if I were to summon it and run, no, 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 not again, not again. That's it. They fight. See, they're gonna fight. If I can get there in time. There we are. As you saw, one more time now. Uh, 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 there, go. See, there we go. No. Uh, there we go. Come on, get him. Get him. Nice. So Wolfie's done it again. The brilliant Wolfie. He saved my life. No, no. Oh, wasn't supposed to throw those ender pearls. I was trying to eat. No big deal. Good boy, Wolfie. So I would have made a few bucks, but that's what happens when you leave your money at home. So that's it for the rabbits. Uh, we have. Oh, where the heck are the sheep? Why have they de they've despawned? Haven't they? How the heck did the sheep despawn? This is the second time I've recorded it, and it's happened. It keeps happening. The sheep. Are de you know what a sheep looks like. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother pulling one out of creative. You all know what the stupid sheep looks like. This is not a sheep. Go away. You are not a sheep. Oh, I shouldn't have hurt you. Oh well. Sheep drop. They drop wool, but now they also drop raw mutton. You can throw raw mutton in a fern. What is that? Interrupting me. Thank you. Throw raw mutton in the furnace, and you're going to get cooked mutton for an extra food item. Yummy. Um, I can't eat that yet. I'll probably be hungry later. We can have that then. Final item. Or oh, not item. Mob, I should say. Endermite mob. So it has no drops, and they can spawn when an enderman teleports or when a player uses an ender pearl. Those ender pearls were supposed to be used in a demonstration to show how that does not work. I've tried it so many times, and I cannot get an endermite to spawn naturally. Here, yum. No, we'll wait. We'll leave that to the end. So they have eight times HP. They so only four hearts, and they only do one heart damage on all difficulties. Here we go. I've put a spawn egg in here just so I can demonstrate that because they despawn when they're in the stupid cage. Here, here it is. See, one heart, absolutely pathetic. See, I can just like punch this, no, whoops, that was a pickaxe. How much damage does that do? Five, so that's not quite, that should kill it, shouldn't it? Ah, he moved. All right, well, that's all I got to show for you today. Hope you enjoyed this snapshot update, or 1.8 update, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I haven't thought of a name yet. Let me eat this, I got to heal. Cooked mud, yummy, 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 in my tummy. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, check out our other videos. We've got some cool stuff with some other people as well. So once again, hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.